So the first thing we need to do is we need to start the licensing wizard. This is available in your install directory or it will be under your start menu. The licensing wizard starts up and it shows you your current licensing info. So you can see that I'm currently on a trial license and my trial is going to expire on the 2nd of November. Now if I've purchased SciChart I will have received an email rather like this and this is a SciChart license certificate email and it will contain one or more uh, developer license keys. So these are your serial keys which you use to activate SciChart on your computer and claim the license for yourself. In order to do this you're going to need to go to our website and if you haven't done already you're going to need to create an account under www.scichart.com slash login. So if you haven't created an account here please create one. This account will be used to activate SciChart and also to register your account as a supported developer. So I've already created an account so I'm going to click I would like to activate a license click next and then I'm going to enter my username and my password for the SciChart website. Now if my username password is correct it will show me the serial key box. If it's not correct it's going to tell me that this is an incorrect username or password. Please head over to our website and create one. So this entry is sort of a validation to make sure that you've got the right account. Next what I do is I get my developer license key and I'm going to claim this license key here and enter it in to the licensing wizard. So I'm ready to activate so all I need to do is press this button it will contact the server and you should get a message saying congratulations SciChart has been activated. If there's an error it'll be pretty obvious there's a very big red box which will come up here uh, with an error message and a button to contact support if you need it. So we click OK and now you can see that my license type is full it expires in a year and it's order ID 12345678 product code is WPF Pro quantity 3 and license to me so now I am activated if I run the examples or my own applications on this computer as a developer they're going to work. Once you have activated SciChart there are several options you can do. You can activate again if you'd like to apply a different license. Now, there's nothing that will prevent you from doing that. You can deactivate if you'd like to relinquish the license and you can also enter a license manually if you don't have internet access. Next I'll show you how you deactivate Make a note that this is licensed to Andrew ABT software. You're going to need to put in your username password that you used to activate. And once it's ready, you can now click deactivate. Pressing this button will permanently deactivate SciChart on your computer and it will inform our server as well that you are deactivated. So I've now relinquished my license and this serial key can now be used by another developer. So what if you want to activate SciChart or apply a trial license and you don't have the internet? Um, I'm going to show you first how you can apply a trial license key. So let's say that my if my trial has expired and I want to continue using SciChart I may contact support and ask for a trial extension. So in this case let's assume that I've done that and tech support has given me a trial license key. Now a trial license looks like XML so I'm just going to paste it in here. This is a, a sample trial license key um, and all you have to do is hit apply license. And we go back and we can see that my trial is updated. So that's how you apply a trial license key. If you would like to activate SciChart but you haven't got internet on your computer or let's say that the automatic activation over the internet is failing to work there is a manual override. So again you use this page and now what you do is you enter your username, your password from the website and you need to enter your serial key as well. So I'm going to claim this serial now please note there is no validation here 
uh, and you hit this button request activation code and it tells you we have generated a license request for your username password and serial please paste it in an email to support at sidechart.com with the subject line activation request so I'm gonna hit OK there and you can see that it has created a email here this is um, the Windows 8 uh, mail app and it's actually really buggy this is not my fault but it, the email is support at sidechart.com but the Windows 8 mail app thinks it's Jack Lewis which is very very helpful now it will generate an, e an email like this dear support can you send me a manual activation code you need to send that off to us and one of our tech support team we'll get back to you with a response code. So if you go ahead and send us that email containing your, uh, your request code in here, support will activate your license on the server and they will send you back a response. So this is an example of, a, of what a message might look like. So I've shown here, your activation code is attached. Please enter this into the activation wizard. And when I click on here, there's going to be a activation code that you can copy and paste in here. So what you want to do is you want to paste that activation code in and click on apply license. And it should say congratulations SciChart has now been activated on your computer. And if we go back to the main screen we can see that my order expires on the 4th of October 2015. It's a full license. Um, it's SciChart WPF Pro. It's got the right order ID, the correct quantity and it's licensed to me. So I hope that this gives you an overview of how you can use the SciChart activation wizard. Um, the activation via the internet is fully automatic deactivation via the internet is fully automatic and the offline feature allows you to enter either trial license keys in here or send us a request and put your response back in here to fully activate your license if you have any issues with this or any comments or feedback we'd really like to hear them please contact support at support at